Right now, flags line the streets of Brigham City as an officer shot in the line of duty returns home. The Ogden police officer was serving a protective order violation yesterday, and that's when the gunfire erupted. The special Debbie Worthen is there for us live tonight. Debbie, what is the latest tonight? Well, Deanie and Micah, here at the Washington Park Apartments, the crime tape is down, but there are still plenty of reminders of what happened. Bullet holes in cars, in windows, things like that as that gunfire erupted. Now, as police exchanged gunfire with the suspect, that suspect was killed. As for that Ogden police officer, he got a hero's welcome from his hometown today. Flags line Brigham City. A hero's welcome for an Ogden City police officer hit in the arm during a shootout Tuesday. An emotional day for the officer who was attempting to serve a protective order at the Washington Park Apartments. Police say the officer called for backup when the suspect approached him with a gun. The man died in that encounter. In his hometown, neighbors rally. We heard this morning from family members and your heart drops. Shani Jaramillo is good friends with the officer and his family. We just were talking to him at the fence line the other day, laughing. Today is exactly what she wanted for him. I hope that he knows that he's got the community's support. He's never alone. He's got us. We're a call away. We're a step away. Jeremy Lowe says the flags, the balloons, and the posters are the least they can do for him. The officer has been in the news before. In August of 2021, he was part of a group of officers that surprised an eight-year-old girl with a birthday party. When they found out during a domestic violence call, it was her birthday. Tuesday's call was much different. And at the Washington Park Complex, bullet holes in windows, walls, and tires are reminders of what happened one day ago. But today isn't about the crime scene. It's about a small community relieved to know their hometown hero is home safe. He's a strong person. He's resilient. Um, he's brave. Um, it, was, it was exciting to know that he was going to be okay. Now, Ogden police have asked us not to reveal his name. We are aware of his name. Those who know him tell us he is a great person and a good police officer as well. Back to you. Well, even those of us who don't know him are grateful for what he did. Debbie, thanks.